You may have received a special notice in the mail talking about assessments to your taxes and you're saying to yourself, wait a second, don't my taxes already cover what I'm being assessed for? We've brought in Kurt Frankie to talk another aspect of the legal side of real estate. Kurt, welcome back to the program. Thank you. Okay. Now, you've got an assessment, you're saying to yourself, wait a second, they're paving the street in front of my home, don't my taxes cover this? What isn't being covered that you're being assessed for? Yeah, it, that's right. Um, if you're being assessed, it's probably not for the paving of the street itself. But according to state law and county law, a homeowner is required to maintain the sidewalk and the driveway entrance into the house. So that's that assessment right there. That's correct. The assessment is actually going for paying for the concrete that makes the driveway uh, entrance and the sidewalk. All right. Now, is this universal? We're hearing about this a lot in Reno. Is it really a universal uh, law? Yeah, assessments are pretty much a nationwide uh, phenomenon. And what it is, is is what they're trying to do, or what the theory behind it, is to tax the people that are most directly benefiting from the uh, service that's being provided. So uh, most people think, you know, my taxes take care of everything. Well. The way, I guess, uh, the way they get around that is to say that, but not your sidewalk and your driveway entrance. Uh, now, does that paving that is being covered by your taxes, does that also include the sewer underneath it? If they have to do some sewer work during this paving? Your, your taxes would normally cover the, su the s replacing sewer lines, except to the point they connect to your house. Huh. And I'm not sure what good a sewer line does you <laughs> if it's not connecting to your house. So normally the homeowner is required, and, and, and part of the notice of an assessment will tell you, this is probably a good time to change, your, change out your sewer because we'll have the street torn up, and that way you don't have to pay it. Uh, us to tear up the new street. Now we know that a lot of paving goes on during the summertime, so if people have gotten this notice, how far in advance do they hear about this assessment? Normally you'll hear, hear about it months in advance of uh, the work actually being performed in. You do have an opportunity to object uh, to whatever they're assessing you for, and usually you need a group of homeowners, so it's something you want to do is collect your neighbors who, are, who might object to this as well and bring it as a group objection. Oh, very good. So if you really have a problem with this, you feel like it was just done a year and a half ago and there might be a mistake, which does happen, that Correct. this work was just taken care of, then you could step up and say, wait a second, not necessary. That would be a good time. And that assessment doesn't hit you all at once. It does get stepped out over a period of time, right? Yeah, you can pay it all at once, or you can pay it usually over a 10-year period. Mm -hmm. However, the, the county or the city will put a lien on the property saying that this assessment is owed, so if you're selling it, the purchaser would know about it. Know about that assessment. All right, if you want to know more, you can give Kurt a call. Find out more about any part of the legal side of real estate, how they do that, Kurt. You can call me at 827-6100 and speak with Linda. She'd be happy to set up an appointment or visit my website, locaf, L-O-K-A-F dot com. Law offices of Kurt A. Frankie stepping in once again to talk about the legal side of real estate. Great stuff. Thanks, Kurt. Thank you. All right.